I would like to say that I've always been relatively smart, um, <laughs> but it didn't always correlate to, um, I guess, positive outcomes. Yeah. You know, I was always the student with a lot of potential, but I never turned that potential energy into kinetic energy. Mm. You know, some some quarters I would get a 3.4. And yeah. be like, great, Brian, you, you're doing it. And then other quarters, I would get a 2.4. It's like, mm -hmm. uh, okay, what's going on here? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I graduated high school with a 2.9 and respectable, right? Like that's yeah. not bad by any means. However, if I'm graduating with a 2.9, but I have the capacity to get a 3.5 or 3.6, then there, there leaves something to be desired there, you know? Mm. So uh, for me, it was just a matter of not executing and really putting my best mm. foot forward, you know? So... I knew pretty much I was going to go to community college afterwards and it was perfect. My dad worked there. You know, I had to pay like fees and it was yeah. very, very affordable. Yeah. Uh, it was a good route to go just in regards to saving money. So played baseball there for a year. In my second year, uh, I had an opportunity to uh, get a scholarship to a division two school. And basically I just had to finish out the quarter and I was going to transfer. Yep. And I, what I decided to do was, fail four out of six classes and then drop out of school because again, education was not important to me and I yeah. pretty much just wet the bed. Yeah. Um, laid an egg on that one. And then I dropped out of school again. It was in the center of the last recession, man. So wow. clearly I was making great decisions as a 19 <laughs> year old, you know, um, tried it again. Uh, yeah. Afterwards, took me five or six months to even find a job because somebody with no skills and no mm -hmm. education, you're not just out there throwing jobs on the street corner to you. Mm -hmm. um, so I ended up getting back into school the next fall, uh, did okay, uh, but didn't do okay enough to be eligible to play baseball again. So I put myself in the same situation, mm. not great. So then, uh, it was a struggle because I had to take 19 credit hours just to graduate and get my associates. And by some grace of God, I did it. Mm -hmm. Um, and after that I transferred to a school down in, uh, Alabama, man. And. Thought it was going to be wonderful, all good, got good grades. Couldn't play baseball because hmm. I transferred credit hours from a school that wasn't accepting uh, the credit hours I was sending. Yeah. So um, it made it really tough, man. And I, I kind of was at a crossroads at that point. I'm like, what am I going to do, right? Thought about yeah. going to the military. Thought about just saying, forget about baseball, you know? And yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was tough, man. I, I felt like I went through depression during that time, like that summer and I had a friend at the time who really talked me out of going to the military and said, you know, I feel like, you know, you could always make that decision later on down the road, but I feel like you have a lot, a lot to offer right now. And education, I think is going to be your best route to go. So mm -hmm. that was when I really just started to get it together. And I said, you know what, like, I'm not going to do bad in school anymore. I never got below a 3.0 again, man. So yeah. fast forward, I ended up getting my bachelor's degree, man. I, I went to another school and luckily, um, got another scholarship to like play baseball. So I'm like, man, somebody is looking out for me. <laughs> I, I really feel like opportunities keep falling in my lap. And yeah. at some point, like, it's like, okay, if you don't take advantage of the opportunities that are presented before you, like right. the dwindle, man, yeah. uh, I did that, decided that I was going to go to grad school and I knew like my baseball career was going to be over. And I had an opportunity at one point, like to pay, play professionally, but mm -hmm. I, I decided that it would be much better for me to continue my education and my, my love for the game wasn't there anymore. And I knew mm -hmm. falling back on grad school was a hell of a fallback plan, right? <laughs> yeah. um, so I went there, man. And that was when I really decided like, okay, like I want to do a lot of things in my life, man. And just the value of education, like I said, it, it wasn't initially there, man. And a light bulb yeah. just kind of went off uh, between me being in Alabama uh, and coming back home to Ohio and then eventually transferring again, uh, like I said, to get another scholarship uh, for baseball. And I really just started taking uh, my education in my own hands, man, because 150, 200 years ago, like people that look like me, mm -hmm. they didn't have the opportunity to read and write. You know, it was a uh, luxury. It wasn't uh, right, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that was something that motivated me as well, too, man, because so many things that we can take for granted today, like people will lose their lives right. for. It, so right. it was just really further reiteration that I needed to do something that was going to um, shape the future for me and mm -hmm. my uh my family 